I didn't see you there. It's Tyler here. I'm hanging out with my brother, Thadrian. And Thadrian, you seem to be down in the dumps. What's getting you down? Oh, uh, well, I just feel a little intimidated standing next to you right now. I am quite intimidated. I got uh, dirty jeans and a dirty sweatshirt, and you're sipping a very refined drink, and uh, I'm sipping nothing. That, which is a bummer. That is a bummer, and it is true. Well, perhaps we can come up with a remedy for that. And I think that after a few drinks, it might be the appropriate time of the evening for a gentleman caller. Phaedra had stepped to get himself a whistle wetter while I prepare a cocktail for him. So, unfortunately, we're in the middle of Greenville, New Hampshire, and we're out of ice. So I went outside and I decided to chill my cocktail shaker with snow because that's the only thing that there is a lot of in New England right now. So I'm just shaking the snow out of the shaker onto a plate. You're gonna take your cocktail shaker and this is a signature drink that I invented called the Gentleman Caller. The reason it's called the Gentleman Caller is because it's made with Gentleman Jack Tennessee whiskey. It's not only Tennessee whiskey, but it's rare Tennessee whiskey. You can tell because it says so right on the bottle. There's only three ingredients to this. Uh, I think a lot of great spirit cocktails start with good spirits and have very few other additives. One of the most important additives of all cocktail making is acid. And the role of acid will be played by limes today. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze a good amount of lime juice. If you're gonna get all technical and measure, we're gonna start with one part lime juice. I'd suggest maybe an ounce, half an ounce, depending on how big your cocktail want, you want your cocktail to be. And what kind of night you want to have. And what kind of night you want to have. Uh, then we're gonna do a, around the same amount of Grand Marnier orange liqueur. No, so I do have a little bit of a stake in this. Uh, yeah. Tyler, it's worth noting, invented this cocktail. I did invent this. He made it for me. I said, Tyler, there's a big liquor cabinet in the other room. Go make me a cocktail. So what did he do? He went and he made me a cocktail. And I took one sip of it and I said, this is, this is brilliant. This is delicious. And I helped him name it. So I helped him realize it was great and name it. So I really have no claim to its greatness. I'm kind of like the apostle Paul and he's Jesus. I mean, like I didn't really bring anybody back from the dead or whatever, but I was like, listen, man, you should write that down. And I did write it down. So the reason it survived is because I um, took the initiative to put pen to paper. Other than that, I'm just the guy telling the Wright brothers, you know, flying through the air could be a pretty big game changer in the transportation world. So I'm Jesus and this cocktail is the airplane. Apparently. <laughs> so right now you got maybe about, uh, uh, about like an ounce, maybe two ounces. I think I'm looking at it right now and I'm gonna go uh, a little bit heavier with the Grand Marnier and a little bit heavier with the lime before I add our spirit. So now we're gonna be adding our spirit and our spirit of the night, of, like I said before, is a rare Tennessee whiskey, Gentleman Jack. This is gonna be about three parts, okay? So if you added an ounce of lime juice and an ounce of Grand Marnier, you're gonna add three <laughs> ounces of Gentleman Jack. A lot of people say you shouldn't shake all spirit cocktails. I'm not so hardcore of a purist about that. But you have a chilled shaker, you can just swish it around a bit. You're not trying to work up any froth or anything. Uh, like with juices, you're gonna work up some foam or with milk punch, obviously you work up some foam uh, or, or a cocktail that calls for an egg white. But with a all spirits cocktail, uh, you're only gonna just shake, uh, stir it a bit, just to get it chilled and get all the ingredients mixed together. All right, uh, now if you have rocks, which we don't, uh, you could put them in a rocks glass and strain this cocktail onto fresh ice. And if you're the kind of guy that likes a stiff drink anyway, uh, you might just drink it straight. So, that is the gentleman caller. So, Adrian, I'm holding the gentleman caller in my hand. I'm sure he appreciates that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it as much as the first time it was created. A great way to drink whiskey where you still feature the whiskey very heavily, but you augment it slightly. It's like a steak, you know, there might be some herbs, there might be some seasoning. Right, a little Bernays perhaps. A little Bernays, but it's mostly about the steak. This is mostly about the whiskey. You put a good whiskey in it and you accent and dilute it a little bit with some sugary flavors, some sweetness some mm -hmm. acid right and then you citrus the yeah you usually see a lot of lemon lime but sometimes but a lime and orange, orange don't always right. go together so that adds a little bit to the body 
not to sound like insanely pretentious. So in an unpretentious way, I'd say this is really f***ing good. In a pretentious way, I'd say this is a very balanced serving vessel for a, a whiskey you want to feature. It doesn't have to be this. You can make this with any uh, mid to top shelf whiskey. Depending on what kind of night you want to have, you can have it with any whiskey. But if you want to just sort of put a little garnish on a, on a, on a good quality spirit, you, can, you, uh, you throw this bad boy in there and you're good to go. Well, there you have it, a gentleman caller for some gentleman ballers. <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen.